Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day to you. A special shout out to my stepmom, Amanda, who might be practicing with us today, and my mom, Nina. And it uh, looks like my cat is jumping all over the place here this morning. Please, I don't need to rescue you, do I? Okay, I have to rescue her. Just one sec. Come here now. Oh my gosh. Oh, story of my life. Come here. Oh, this is my only baby, and she's a handful. Anyway, happy Mother's Day, everybody. Um, so whether you're a mom or you're a person who has a mom, or you're just a human being, I think this class is for you. So we often associate mothers or motherhood with nourishing. And um, ironically, or sadly, sometimes the people who are in those caretaker roles um, don't get enough uh, moments, don't get in enough moments to give back to themselves and uh, nourish their their minds and their bodies uh, as much as they would like. So hopefully you have a few moments to set aside for a little yoga practice. Maybe it's going to be 10 minutes or the whole hour. Feel free to just sit and meditate and just breathe if that's what you need today and just be mindful of your needs. So if anything I'm saying uh, doesn't work for you and you just want to modify or do something different, you go ahead and do that. So all I'm saying is purely suggestion today. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be all about nourishing and giving back to ourselves today, whether you're mom or not. So I'll just uh, get started now and feel free to find a seated pose. Maybe you want to sit up on a pillow to get started. We'll do some breathing exercises and then we'll get right on the mat moving. <clears throat> All right, so sitting up nice and tall, letting your sit bones ground down into your mat or the floor, whatever you're sitting on. And uh, maybe placing your hands on your knees. Nice long spine, lengthening really tall, feeling the back of the neck grow. Maybe a gentle tuck of the chin. Still having a little bit of space right there. And the crown of your head lifting up nice and tall to the sky. Begin to tune in to your breath. And oftentimes if we're feeling tense or, you know, we're just not in a mindful space, we're feeling a bit scattered, we begin to take shorter breaths. And uh, that often helps us, well, makes us feel a little more scattered. So take some nice deep belly breaths, inhaling, letting your tummy expand and your rib cage grow out to the sides. Exhale, slowly soften and let it all go. Inhale, nice and deep, long inhale. Exhale, slowly let it go. Continue your breath. See if you can continue to lengthen your inhales. Maybe hold at the top for just a moment and then exhale nice and long. I'm going to begin to count the breath and you can feel free to follow along if you like. So inhaling for a count of five, four, Three, two, one, retain the breath. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale five, four, three, two, one, retain. Exhale six, 
five, four, three, two, one. One more set, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, retain. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bringing your hands to heart center, you can begin to breathe normally. And always bringing your mind back to the breath throughout your practice if you find yourself wandering. So in the interest of uh, maintaining this theme of nourishment today, I want you to think of one word that represents something that you need, something that you need to cultivate to feel just 10% better or more. And that could be anything. Maybe it's a sense of peace. Maybe it's breath. Maybe it's laughter. So think of one word that represents what you need, what is going to help you feel nourished today. and take that word with you throughout the rest of this practice and perhaps even into the rest of your day. On your inhale with the hands together, reach those hands up to the sky, maybe keeping the eyes closed. Exhale, bring the hands out to the sides. Inhale, draw those hands together at heart center. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Inhale, hands draw together like there's a magnet, a force between them. And exhale. One more. Inhale, reach up. Lengthen long. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Inhale, palms draw together. And exhale opening your eyes, maybe coming off your prop if you have a pillow there underneath your bottom. And we're going to come right on into child's pose. So starting from this nice resting posture, maybe bringing your knees out to the sides with your big toes touching, sitting your hips down to the heels and reaching your fingertips and your hands out nice and long out in front of you. And start to bring your attention to your breath. Allow it to expand through your back. Widening at the shoulder blades. Maybe tent your fingertips and walk those hands out just a little bit more. And taking some really deep inhales, expanding through your rib cage. And exhaling to let it all go. Committing to nourishing yourself today and doing what you need to feel just a little bit better and brighter. And begin to pick your hands up, pick your head up and walk your hands out to the left. Maybe stacking your right palm on top of the left, placing your forehead on the ground. And if you need a little bit more, walk those fingertips out just a bit more away from your body. Inhaling, allowing some length to enter your right side body. And on your next inhale, walk the hands back through center over to the right side. This time stacking your left hand on top of your right. Your forehead comes down to the ground. And perhaps walking those fingertips just a little bit further away if you need an extra stretchy goodness.
And coming on back through center, begin to come up onto your hands, bring your knees to hip distance apart and come up onto hands and knees. And let's start to stir these hips, wake up the spine and the hips a little bit here today. Feel free to tuck your toes under if you like. And begin to bring your hips over to the right, swing over to the left heel, forward to the left corner, and over to the right. So you're creating a little circle, finding any movement that feels good for you today. And introducing Ujjayi Pranayama, that ocean breath, if you like. Otherwise, just take deep inhales and exhales. And in Vinyasa Yoga, it's all about connecting your breath to the movement. So creating that connection. And whenever you're moving through one movement, you might either be inhaling or exhaling fully, but you don't want to be taking like two breaths, inhaling and exhaling, like when you're moving into warrior two. Anyway, maybe a little too much information for right now. Change direction if you haven't already. And let's do one more circle of the hips. Bring yourself back to hands and knees and we'll go right on into some cat cow postures. So your hands are nice and wide. Really think about pressing those knuckles into the ground, a little space underneath your palm, lengthening through your spine and the crown of your head. So the top of your head right here, pointing towards the front of the room. Inhale, begin to tilt your hips back, lifting your tailbone up roll the shoulders back and maybe lift your chest. Exhale, press through your hands, curve your back and look at your belly button. Inhale to cow posture. Exhaling, rounding to cat. Continue finding your own rhythm with your breath. And this is also an opportunity to find any movement that you like to sort of help you wake up that spine and the hips. So feel free to continue with your cat cows or maybe look over your left shoulder and swing your hips over to the left. Look at your little invisible tail and go the other way. And bring your attention to your face. Maybe open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Ah, helps you uh, sort of relax a little bit and maybe bring a little bit of laughter into your practice as well. Sort of helps relax through that face. And a couple more breaths, finding the movement that you like, whatever is serving you right now. And when you're ready, tuck your toes, lift your hips, Finding downward facing dog. Pedaling out your feet. Finding that movement again, whatever is serving you, helping you feel nice and good today. And then recalling the word that you committed your practice to today. What is going to help you feel nourished on the mat and off? When you're next, on your next inhale, look forward. Begin to walk those feet up to the top of your mat. And let's hang here in ragdoll for a moment. So give yourself a little sway from side to side. Maybe hold on to opposite elbows. And give yourself that movement again, relaxing through your head, allowing your upper body to drape over the legs and totally relax. Just let me 
here. And dropping your fingertips down to the ground, maybe bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips and begin to come on up with a flat back, chest pressed forward. Inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, take your left hand with your right hand. <laughs> take your left wrist with your right wrist <laughs> and step your left foot behind the right foot. Give yourself a little stretch out to the side, lengthening through that left side body, tipping over. On your next inhale, step your foot back, reach those hands up and other side. Left hand takes the right wrist and step out to the side. Go tip over to the left. Inhale back through center. Exhale, bring those hands out to the sides and find your back pockets, the invisible back pockets of your yoga pants. Begin to tip forward and massage through the legs down to your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen long, long neck, pressing those hands into the shins. Exhale, fold. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, half lift, hands to the shins. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, lengthen long through your spine. And exhale, fold. Stepping the right foot back, begin to bring your right knee down to the ground and sweep those hands up to the sky. Check in with your hips here. So you wanna make sure the left hip's not coming forward like that. You really wanna pull that left hip back, right hip forward, scissoring the legs, sweep those arms up to the sky and lengthen up through the belly. Think about squeezing a little sponge here in the middle of your belly, lifting up, like there's a little elevator that's lifting up through your center. Inhale, maybe lengthen back a little longer. And maybe take your left hand and bring it to the outside of your right leg, lifting up to the sky. Little heart opener and side body lift. Inhale, sweep both that left arm up to the sky. Exhale, the fingertips come down to the ground. Lift your back heel, lift your back knee, and walk that foot in to the point where you can step that right heel down to the ground, the leg straight. So your, your toes are pointed forward, and it's like your legs are on train tracks. You don't have one leg in front of the other. Nice and stable base here. On your next inhale, begin to squeeze those shoulder blades together and lift up halfway. Exhale, fingertips come down to the ground, folding down. Inhale, lift on up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. One more inhale, lift on up. Lengthen through your spine, squeeze those shoulder blades together, rolling the shoulders back. Exhale, fold down. And on your next inhale, simply step that right foot forward into your forward fold. Give yourself a little sway from side to side. And then bring your hands to your hips, give yourself a little bend in the knees and start to come on up with a flat back and your heart press forward. Inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, same thing as we did before. So you take your right hand and put it around the left wrist. Step your left foot behind the right and give yourself a little side body stretch. Inhale, back to center, lift the palms to the sky. Exhale, other side, step the right foot back and take the right wrist into the hand. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands come to those invisible back pockets of your yoga jeans and begin to forward fold, massage through the legs. Inhale, three half lifts. So inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold down. One more. Inhale, half lift. Lengthen long through your spine. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back and bring that knee down to the ground. If you need any cushioning at any time, just feel free to fold over your yoga mat or find maybe a blanket to put under your knee. And scissoring the legs, left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward. Begin to sweep those arms up to the sky. Inhaling here as you lift through your center. Exhaling, maybe you sink those hips a little bit lower while maintaining the integrity of that upper body. And perhaps you give yourself a little back bend here as you inhale. And perhaps take that right hand and bring it to the outside edge of your left thigh. Sweeping that arm a little bit further back, lifting your heart. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhale, sweep that left arm, that right arm back up to the sky. Frame the foot and begin to tuck the back toe and lift the back knee. Walking that foot in to the point where you can lay your heel on the ground. And we do our lifts here. So we inhale, think about lengthening the spine, lifting up, and then squeezing those shoulder blades together. Like there's a, a pencil here that you need to hold between your shoulder blades. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, squeeze. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step that foot forward. And give yourself a little sway from side to side. Inhale, come on up, half lift, sorry, half lift of the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll on that big reach to the sky. And exhale, hands through, heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, nice flat back, reaching that spine forward and down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back to plank. Sorry, plank. <laughs> In my mind, I was thinking downward dog. In, I said plank, so we're gonna do plank. <laughs> All right, let's hold this plank for 10 seconds. So really think about squeezing that sponge in the belly. A sponge in the belly, Certainly doesn't sound very healthy, does it? Sounds like a surgery gone wrong. <laughs> so lifting up through your center, pressing through those hands, lifting yourself away, and pushing your heels towards the back of the room. Hold this for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Lay the knees down. Come on into child's pose for a moment here. And inhale, come on back to hands and knees and begin to lay your forearms on the ground. We're gonna go into dolphin pose. So you really wanna make sure that your elbows are right underneath your shoulders and the hands are nice and wide. So your fingers are wide. You're pressing those knuckles into the ground. Pressing your elbows into the ground, begin to tuck the toes under and lift your, your hips up to the sky. So my hair is kind of in the way, but my head is lifted up off the ground. I'm not sure if you can see that. And perhaps you're looking at your feet or your belly button. Really think about pressing those elbows into the ground, lifting your hips up to the sky, lengthening through your spine. Take some deep breaths here. Exhale. 
Exhale, bring those knees down to the ground. Begin to walk your feet back into a plank. So you're holding yourself up in this forearm plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the knees down and your hips down to the floor. And we're going to go into Sphinx pose. So pressing through those forearms. Begin to roll your chest forward and up. Exhale, relax. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, press through the, those arms, lifting your belly and pressing that heart forward and up. Exhale, relax. One more. Inhale, press through those forearms. Lift the heart. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. And exhale, let it go. Bring yourself all the way down. And bring your hands back to your sides. So it's best to have your hands or your palms flat on the mat. And that's because when we begin to lift the heart up, rolling the shoulders back, you're already externally rotating your arms and beginning that nice chest opener. And it helps to get those shoulders back. All right. So inhale, begin to lengthen long, lift the forehead off the ground, lift your fingertips off. Option to lift the legs, pressing your fingertips to the back of the room and really think about pressing those legs together. See if you can lift a little bit more, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale, let it go. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Bend your knees and simply wave the legs from side to side. Windshield wiping the legs. Inhale, press through the knees, coming on into your downward facing dog. Walk out your dog, finding any movement you like. If at any point you need some water like me, Go ahead and grab it. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, begin to press that knee to nose and hover in plank. Inhale, press that leg back. Exhale, step it forward, finding warrior two. Lowering your back heel to the ground and just checking in with your alignment heel here. <laughs> So your front heel is either in line with your back heel or the arch of your back foot. So if it's in line with the heel, you're gonna have a more sturdy base. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, bend that front knee and begin to set yourself into the pose. So you're pressing the left, the side of your left foot the external side of your left foot, outside edge, into the ground, lifting up through your center nice and tall and pressing those arms out nice and firmly, looking over the front fingertips. Take some deep breaths here. And then we'll begin to move. Inhale, flip your front palm. Exhale, straighten that front leg and come on into a modified peaceful warrior so that left hand can come to the leg and look up. So you're stretching through that right side body. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, modified peaceful. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. So placing that right arm on the right thigh 
and sweeping that left arm either up to the sky or maybe that arm comes alongside the ear. Really think about pressing that right arm into the leg and rolling that shoulder away from your ear so there's none of this sinking. Rotate through that rib cage, the left rib cage, up to the sky. And maybe you look up at the ceiling or down at the ground. Inhale, sweep your hands back to warrior two. Begin to parallel your feet so you're facing the long edge of your mat. Bring your hands to your hips, roll your shoulders back, lift your heart as you inhale deeply. And exhale, tilt forward, coming into your forward fold. So this is where we can play. So if you've been practicing headstand from wide legs, feel free to jump into that. And I'm gonna give you some cues for a couple movements if you like, but you can always just stay right here in a forward fold, maybe bringing your hands to your ankles. And if you wanna move, begin to sweep your right arm over to the left ankle and pick up your left arm and sweep it up to the sky twisting it out. Inhale here. On the exhale, sweep those hands back across the mat and over to the other side. Follow your breath as you continue to move and twist it out. And if you like, you can continue just like that or feel free to hold one of the sides a little bit longer. Bring yourself back to center. Let's all bring our hands right underneath the face. On the inhale, actually your hands should be right underneath your shoulders. On the inhale, begin to half lift. So you're coming up onto your fingertips here, lifting the spine nice and long, lengthening through the crown of your head, long back of the neck. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen long. And exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lengthen yourself, beautiful and long. Exhale, fold. Begin to walk your hands over to the front of the mat. You're framing the right foot and step yourself back to your downward facing dog. Walk those feet out, find any movement that you like here. And we're going to the other side. So inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, hover in plank. Inhale, lift that leg back up, three limb down dog. Exhale, step that right, that left foot <laughs> forward, preparing for warrior two. So you're lowering your back heel to the ground and checking in with the alignment of your feet. So that left heel is either in line with your right heel or the right arch of the foot. Firming through your base, inhale, begin to sweep your arms up, finding warrior two. Lifting up nice and long through your center, roll those shoulders back, reach those arms nice and long out to the sides. Take some deep breaths. Before we begin to we begin to move. So flipping your front palm, inhale, exhale, modify peaceful pose. So uh, strengthening, not strengthening, lengthening 
your left leg, reaching that left arm up to the sky, giving yourself some nice length through the left side body. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale. Lengthening through that left leg, reaching strongly. That right arm could be on the thigh. And coming back to warrior two, inhale here. Exhale, side angle pose, reaching that right arm either up to the sky or alongside the ear, keeping those fingertips nice and active. No spaghetti fingers. <laughs> Reach nice and strong. Pressing that left arm into the thigh and rolling your rib cage up to the sky. Deep breaths. And what is going to nourish you today? What was the word that came to mind at the beginning of your practice? Inhale, come on back through warrior two. Straighten that front leg, parallel your feet. Roll the shoulders back, lift your heart up. Exhale, fold forward with a flat back. Hands come down to the mat and you can feel free to stay here in this forward fold or join in a little bit of hip stretchy goodness. So begin to bend into your left knee, pick up your right toes coming onto that heel. So you're coming into a little side stretch lungy posture. Inhale back through center. Exhale, here's a little stretch. Maybe you lift up one arm and maybe you look over that shoulder. Ooh, what a beautiful wall I have back there, oh my gosh. Inhale, back through center. Exhale. So feel free to modify this a little bit. Find any movement or posture that really feels good in your hips. And we'll do two more sets. So that'll be two on each side. Inhale, come on back through center. Bring your hands to your hips and come up with a flat back. We're going to go into Malasana, that yogic squat. So if you traditionally use a block or this is a new posture for you, you might want to grab a block or a pillow and just have it handy. Walk your feet into just beyond hip distance apart. Feet are pointed out 45 degrees. Inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, begin to bend into the knees. And... Come on into that squat. So you should feel pretty comfortable here. Like you're not like, you're not doing a squat at the gym where you're like holding yourself up and quivering or anything, right? <laughs> so your hips should be sinking down. And if they're not, place the block right there or a pillow and sit on down. If you're up on your tippy toes, that's completely fine. As long as your hips are relaxed there. Pressing your hands together, lengthen through your spine and press your elbows into your thighs. Opening through the chest. And again, feel free to find any movement you like here. Maybe a little sway from side to side. Feel free to close your eyes 
and tap into the breath. Recentering yourself, recalibrating. And placing your fingertips on the ground, lift your hips up to the sky. Walk the feet into just hip distance apart. Give yourself a little sway here. Gentle bend in the knees. Come on up with a flat back, hands to the hips. Oh yeah. Give yourself a little sway here. Some dance. Mother's Day dance. Oh yeah. 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 Feels so good. And coming to the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive it forward. Inhale, half lift, length and long. Exhale, step your left foot back. We're gonna come on into lizard pose. So bring that back knee to the ground. Maybe put a blanket or something underneath if you feel a little bit tweaky and walk your right foot out to the side. So it's at like a 45 degree angle. You might wanna place a block right here underneath your chest if you're planning on coming down onto your forearms and you just want that extra support instead of coming down to the ground. So you can be up here on the hands or come down to the forearms. An option either to stay right there or maybe take your right arm and just place it on the thigh right around here. <laughs> you can always do that if you're up on your hand as well. Up on your left hand. If you like, you can come, up, come onto the side of that right foot, so the outside edge. Active through that foot though, flexing the foot. Feel free to stay right there. And if you want to come on into a little bit of a quad stretch, bring that right foot back in line with your hips and bend your left leg. Reach back for it with your left hand. There you go. And if you need any extra support, you can put a block underneath this right hand. Take some deep breaths and imagine that breath being sent into any areas of tension. And when you're ready, if you have that foot, just gently let that go. And we'll all meet with this foot back in line with the hip. So you're on this, in this lunge, right? Begin to step that right, that left knee up off the ground, plant your left hand and inhale, sweep the right arm up to the sky. And twisting it out. And we're gonna come on into lizard on this side. So begin to bring your right foot over to the left side and you're placing your shin on the ground, okay? Are you holding yourself up and feeling super tense? If you are, find this, find a pillow and place it underneath your right thigh. I'll try to face you so that you can kind of see what I mean with the props. So if you have a blanket or a pillow, just place it underneath your right thigh. I'm so like, it's hard with the camera for you to be able to see me, but this pillow is right under my right thigh, helping me feel supported. And then you can begin to relax into the posture. Feel free to stay here up on your fingertips or begin to walk your hands forward, coming into a little fold here. And if you're practicing king pigeon, 
feel free to jump on into that. Maybe taking that back leg, bending at the knee and grabbing the foot. Maybe lifting that right arm up off the ground. Finding chin mudra. So you're meeting yourself wherever you are today. And one day can be completely different from the next. A lot of our well-being depends on how much sleep we got, the foods we're eating, stress, the list goes on. So consider your yoga practice, your time, and be kind to yourself when you're on your yoga mat. Take into consideration what your needs are in the moment rather than what you are striving for. And if you're ready, begin to come on up onto your hands. If you're not already there, hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your back toes and push yourself back to downward facing dog. Give yourself a moment here to pedal the feet. Notice any differences on one side or the other. And we'll go right on into the other side, inhaling, lifting your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Coming on into your lunge first, lowering the back knee, and then walking that foot off to the side, just a little bit, right? Foot at 45 degree angle. Perhaps you're grabbing your block and placing it right underneath that chest area. Maybe you want to stay up on your fingertips or perhaps you want to come onto your forearms, either on the block or on the ground. And an option to take your left hand and place it on the thigh, rolling the chest to the side, opening up, and maybe coming on to the side of that left foot, keeping it nice and active and flexed. And you can always try on one of these postures, see how it feels, and then sit with it or back it off. Taking those deep breaths. And if you want to go into that quad stretch that we did on the other side, just walk that foot back to hip distance. Toes pointed forward. Bend your back knee and grab the right foot with your right hand. You can always place a block or something right here if you want a little leverage. Thinking about sending that breath into those areas of tension. We often hold uh, tension, emotional tension in our bodies. Our mind is not separate from the body. And if you notice sometimes people cry in yoga and if they don't know where it came from. And sometimes it's just from relaxing one part of their bodies, it's just amazing really. Allowing that tension to come out. If you have that foot, gently release it. We'll all meet in this lunge position, tuck the back toe, lift the knee off the ground, plant your right hand and sweep the left arm up to the sky. Got about five minutes left in the practice since we started just a little bit late. We're gonna come on into pigeon, framing the foot and stepping that left foot over to the right, laying the shin on the ground 
and perhaps choosing a support underneath that left hip. Look back at your foot, make sure it's nice and flat on the ground, not a banana foot going out through the side. And feel free to stay here or perhaps begin to walk yourself forward into a fold. Forehead on the ground. Bringing to mind that word that is going to help you feel nourished today. What do you need today? And when you're ready, Place your hands underneath the shoulders, perhaps remove your block or your pillow. Begin to sit into your left hip and swing the right foot out ahead of you. And we're gonna go into a little forward foldy action. So if you like to fold with a strap, maybe you wanna grab that. And bring those toes, flexing the feet, bringing the toes back towards your face. If you're gonna use a strap, reach it up above the head like this, inhale. Exhale, lengthening through the spine, begin to drape yourself forward and place the strap around the feet. Bending at the elbows, lengthening through the back. So the aim is not to get your nose between your legs. <laughs> it's really to give yourself a nice stretch maintaining the integrity of your back and your spine. And if you like, you can place your hands on the ankles or perhaps around the feet. Two more deep breaths. And sitting on up. Place your left foot at the thigh, the right thigh area. Place your left hand just at your hip side right there. And on the inhale, begin to sweep your right arm in front of you and come up into this beautiful little back bendy goodness that also targets the hips. I just love this one. Inhale, exhale, lower down. We'll go right on into the other side with that one. Right foot comes to the left thigh. Place your right hand just at your side there, kind of towards the behind area. And inhale, sweep your left arm in front and then back. Press your hips up to the sky. And exhale, let it all go. Place your feet in front of you, hip distance apart, lengthening through your spine. Inhale. On the exhale, we'll begin to come on down to the back. Hugging your knees into your chest. Extend your left leg out, hug your right knee in. Other side, left knee in, right leg out. Both knees into your chest, give yourself a great big little squeeze <laughs> with your nose up towards your knees. Tight little ball. And on your exhale, give yourself a great big stretch from end to end. Biggest stretch of the day. Inhale, exhale, let it all go. 
totally soft here. And we're gonna go into a short two minute Shavasana. And if you want to continue your Shavasana beyond that, don't worry, I'll turn off the video and you can keep relaxing. So feel free to stay here on the ground, maybe grab a layer to put on, and also option to maybe put your feet up the wall, your legs up the wall, that's a really nice way to relax. Last option, to sit in meditation. Bringing some stillness to the end of your practice and the beginning of the rest of your day. Bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing where the breath enters the body and where you feel it expand and relax as it enters and leaves. One more minute left. And in this last minute, can you relax a little deeper? Letting go of any tension in the face and the jaw. Relaxing your shoulders. and nourishing yourself with the breath. And if you're lying down, maybe you'd like to begin to sit up or simply stay there, relaxing a little longer. And if you're seated, perhaps bring your hands to heart center and commit to nourishing yourself just a little bit more later today or going forward into your week, giving yourself whatever you need to feel happier, lighter, a little more jazzed up. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. And I wish you a wonderful Sunday. Namaste. And thank you for joining me today. Please feel free to leave a comment uh, on Facebook or here. It's lovely to, to see you guys. And uh, yeah. Enjoy whatever you're going to be at. Personally, I'm going to have brunch and I'm not a mom. So, so there. <laughs> Cat moms count too, right? Right? No. <laughs> All right. Happy Mother's Day and take care of yourselves.